a new way to play Cyber Dragons, this time due to this incredibly disturbing message I had on my last video. Upset that we're not playing three Cyber Dragons. Now, we are playing three Cyber Dragons with a more consistent way to add Dragon Core. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Now you're happy. We got three Cyber Dragon in this deck. What is this deck? Well, thanks to Choo Choo from the Meta Weekly, he did incredibly well using the skill Draw Sense Low Level. While you fools are using Cyber Style, we are instead going to use a consistent way to add the Dragon Core. Now you don't have to hope you draw for Core. You're gonna guarantee draw it when you lose 1,000 life from them attacking, or if you use your Cosmic Cyclone. By guaranteed adding a core, how is that good? Core says on summon, you get to add a Cyber Dragon spell or trap. This is a good trap as it destroys cards your opponent controls. And this is a good spell as it fuses into all of our fusions. What's great about this deck is you could pre-plan your plays. If you do open up a core, you probably also opened up a Cosmic Cyclone. So you know that next turn, you're going to Cosmic Cyclone your own card or their card to then guaranteed add another core to then play your core. This deck is very powerful. What's the benefit of playing so many Cyber Dragons? Well, the problem with Cyber Dragon monsters that are not actual Cyber Dragons, when they're banished, they're not considered to be Cyber Dragon. And when they're not considered to be Cyber Dragon, when you fuse, you can't really make your Twin Dragon consistently. 2800 double attack. You also consistently cannot summon your 4000 attack Cyber End Dragon. Instead, you're stuck with 2100 attack, which is no bueno in some situations. But that's okay. If you can only summon your 2100 attack, which you do have many options to summon the others with this deck, we could use Concentrating Current. So the core boss monster still is Rampage Dragon. You will still summon this as your most used fusion. When you summon Rampage Dragon, which you could do in your opponent's turn, or on your turn, or in your battle phase, since this is quick play, on summon, it will destroy two back row cards. It could even destroy three back row cards if you decide to use three Cyber Dragon monsters for the fusion. Now remember, the fusion can only use your field and banish pile to shuffle back in the deck. It does not use your hand. It does not use your grave. So if you want to make a good early play, you have to summon your Cyber Dragon from the hand, then normal summon your core, search for the fusion, then you could use your Cyber Load fusion right away. Otherwise, you're just setting up. Now, Rampage Dragon's other effect besides destroying back row cards is it can attack up to three times by milling up to two Cyber Dragons from the deck to the graveyard. It's guaranteed. Attack three times. Now, when Core is in the graveyard, that's great for many reasons. In the graveyard, it's considered to be a Cyber Dragon. I'll tell you why that's relevant. And also, you could banish it from the grave to summon a Cyber Dragon from the deck. So if you only have a Core and that's it, and it goes to the graveyard and you want to fuse with the core in the graveyard you banish it you summon a cyber dragon now you have a cyber dragon on the field and a banished core you get to use your fusion so let's add that back up now why is it relevant to be a cyber dragon in the grave well the cybernetic overflow uses your hand field or graveyard to banish to then destroy an equal amount of cards on the field it also does not target so they have no idea what you're banishing. They also have no idea what or even how many cards you're going to destroy. It just happens. So with this in the graveyard, you could use it. But with core in the hand, you could not use your overflow. That's another great benefit of Cyber Dragon. While in the hand, you could use it with your overflow. So there are many benefit benefits to play multiple Cyber Dragons. Now the big question is, is this better than the Cyber Style version? We don't know. This is not a definite, optimized, or best way to play the deck. Both are very powerful. It's gonna take more testing, more practice, more tournaments, and giving attention to this deck so you all could play it yourself. 
for us to decide which version is better. What's really good about this version is it's more consistent than CyberStyle with searching your core, and you could fit more back row cards, which uh, lends to the style of sit, protect, maybe they attack you. So you don't even need the current, maybe. You could play Wall of Ds, and if you do not have Floodgate, you could play Econs. You could play Power of the Guardian if you don't have Concentrating Current. These five cards are so interchangeable, it don't matter. This is the core of the deck. Love the deck. It's incredibly powerful, incredibly consistent. Watch the replays. They are nuts. Fools. Grab the overflow. Let's go. Let's go. Who's sniping me? Who's sniping? Snipers be sniping? Who's the sniper? Only for subs? Yes. The Kid Black, which you happen to be, my friend. It's all you. You're in. You're eligible to play. Oh, man, come on. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I thought he was gonna snipe our overflow. <laughs> I don't think I've seen this version, what? This is new. Okay, let's go, let's get roaring. Who am I playing against? Ziggy, my friend Ziggy. Lucky Marv 17, thank you for the 14 months. Two months post transition. Now it's important to know with overflow, if you could make cards miss the timing. So you wanna know how every deck works. Can a card miss the timing? How do we check if Roar misses the timing? It says, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon. So we know it's optional. And because it says if, we know it does not miss the timing. So chaining overflow would not cause any of these cards to miss the timing. And that's a quick check against any deck you're playing that may be triggered by being sent to the graveyard. You want to think about that. And the great thing is you don't have to memorize it. You see how I could just check instead of memorizing? Oh, I forget. Do they miss the timing or they don't? Try not to memorize combos and card effects. Try to understand the mechanics. So a big field, boy. What the... What the? I think I want to keep the Cyber Dragon in the hand. We might just overflow. I think pop the back row and do we pop both? We took that hit so we could get a draw sense low level. I think we do both. Yeah, we do both. We do both. Pop it. He'll summon a monster from the deck if he didn't use that effect already, which he did. Now that monster would go back in the end phase. We got triple attack and GG. No re. Let's go. Goodbye, treacherous. Come to us. Cyberload Fusion. How can you not play Concentrating Current? Come on. Come on. You know that is so good. You know it. We all know it. Let's summon Rampage Dragon. We're going to use the one on the field. I don't want that on the field, boy. Get out of here. Get out of here. Core back in the deck. Yes, I would like core back in the deck. We don't want to use three because that would destroy three back row. There's no three back row to destroy. You want to say no to its effects. Then you want to say yes by activating it. Milling, we want at least one core in the grave for the effect to banish from the grave and then a cyber dragon. Very good. And then let's clap them. Attack. And to the damage step, we know he has no sphere, Kribo. Buh. Boost, attack, effect, summon from the deck, attack again, then attack directly. Nearly a guaranteed win unless he has Kiteroid, because we know he doesn't have Sphere Kribo. Triple attack, now he searches. You gotta understand the deck, understand the plays. We just won because of draw sense low level. Back to Fortnite, yes! Keeper of Dragon Magic, Neos Fusion. We got a Cyber Dragon. We got a Cosmic Cyclone to search for a core. We got it. Now I'm going to do a poll in the chat. Not straw poll, because I'm not taking, I'm not putting that too much consideration on this poll. So calm down if you can't vote in it. Too bad. Next deck. I'll tell you when to do it. Special summon, 
Cyber Dragon. Do we have bacon in the grave? We do have a bacon. Bacon is in the house. Let's grab Overflow and we could search near guaranteed search for another core next turn. That's what's great about this deck is you could plan ahead. You plan ahead and all is well. Are we afraid of that face down? What the heck is that face down? Would it be? We pass and let's go. Oh my Jesus. I don't think we even floodgate. If we, if we don't floodgate, that tells our opponent we have big balls. We got the biggest. What else? Okay. Okay, okay. Let's cyber netic overflow. <laughs> going to banish from the grave. Banish from the grave. We're going to pop that and pop that. Now he is protected with the Neos Fusion. It's fine. Perfectly fine. We're in a tense situation. I'm trying to make a pull. Cosmic Cyclone. Banish the back row. Guarantee a draw sense low level. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Now, special summon Cyber Dragon. Now, people are wondering why you play so many Cyber Dragons. It's for this reason. This is the literal reason on why you play so many Cyber Dragons, because a banished Cyber Dragon is only a true Cyber Dragon. This core is not a Cyber Dragon. This is a Cyber Dragon. Why does that matter? Why is he saying these crazy things? Because we could now summon a Cyber End Dragon and a Cyber Twin without using the Cyber Dragon on the field. So I'll summon a Cyber Twin using the Banished Cyber Dragon and the uh, the Dragon Core on the field. On the field. And notice how we can't use the Banished Core. It has to be a true Cyber Dragon. That's the benefit. This deck has easier access to Twin and End Dragon than the other versions that don't play so many Cyber Dragons. Attack. Bacon. That's right, it's just bacon. Attack again, again, we do it again. Let's go. What the cosmic cyclone, are you serious? Are we afraid? We're gonna pay attention to delays, okay? Ready? Right away we could know if he's got something. I mean, it's another Neos Fusion, right? He searched for Neos Fusion, he didn't use it. Oh, what the? Oh, it doesn't matter. Double attack. It, it, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. He had to send both back. Both had to go back. They were both good. Yes. <laughs> Got him. And then you get to see that it was a Neos Fusion, which he did search. Oh, my Jesus. Lord have mercy. Pop that fool. Attack him. That's how we do it. All right, Cyber Dragon gets by boosted to 3,700. Hmm. Too bad we can't summon it. He doesn't even have a freaking monster. Now in choose version, this would be a wall of D and you could decide if that would have been way better. We know he doesn't have a cosmic cyclone, so we're chilling. Hopefully he does not go from no cards in the field to OTK. About to end the turn. I'm about to end your life. Thank you. Navigation. Navigation. That's so good that we are banishing it so he cannot negate our card. Ha <laughs> ha! Arcana, you are going down. This will decide the power of... Cyber Dragons versus Dark, Dark Magician.
Drago, that is exactly why I had to stop that video. That is Twitch TOS. Draw sense. Low level. Cyber Dragon. Come forth. Mikor. Mikor. Get searching. Grab my Cyberload Fusion. No twin. Twinning is not winning. Rampage Dragon. We're going to rampage on this fool. Back in the deck they go, but back in the grave. We will resummon them. Don't activate. Send up to two Cyber Dragons to perform up to two additional attacks. Attack! Concentrated Currents! Bah! Boost! Boom! Boom! Lethal! Yes! Cyber Dragons prevail over Dark Magician!